I'm Megan Piggott. And I'm Sean Smith. And, and this is Salty Jobs. I'm Sean Smith and I'm Megan Piggott and we're here today at High Seas Hydraulics where as the name might suggest they focus on the hydraulic aspect of the boats. Hydraulics means using fluid power to move an object or lift a load. Megan do you have any idea what fluid power means? Not a clue. Me either. Let's go figure it out. All right let's go. I'm with Bruce, Hydraulics Group Manager of High Seas Hydraulics. Bruce, I understand we have a couple of jobs to get done today. What will Sean and I be doing? Uh, we'll be uh, replacing the hose on a boat, and we've been called in because there's some water contamination on a hydraulic system in the vessel, so we'll have to inspect the heat exchanger and then check the system for uh, a flush. How do we inspect the heat exchanger? Well, we have the heat exchanger here we've removed from the vessel, and what we're going to look for today is, are the zinc still in the unit, and is there any corrosion or erosion that's possibly happened to this heat exchanger? How long have you been in the industry for? 38 years. I started out after high school, joined the Navy, uh, did my diesel training, hydraulics training, then came back to Fort Lauderdale, and now I run the hydraulic shop. The Navy? My dad was in the Army, so I have to say, go Army, beat Navy. Yeah, I don't think so. 31-7 this year, huh? <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank Let's you. get to work. I began by removing the end cap of the heat exchanger. Upon inspection, we saw that the zinc pencil, which looked a lot like a bolt, needed to be replaced, and that there was both erosion and corrosion in the system. I'm here with Josh, project manager at High Seas Hydraulics. And Josh, I understand that you didn't always work in marine. How did you get into marine hydraulics as a career? Oh yeah, that's correct. After high school, I uh, studied automotive. Um, I took the automotive industry, um, became ASC certified. Uh, from there, I, I ventured into the marine industry. I started out in a smaller shop doing exhaust work. And then from there, went into this, where I am now, High Seas, doing hydraulics, which is very nice. About the mechanics, you can switch it from different career to different career once you kind of get the gist of how mechanics works. So transferable skills right, from right, one right. industry to another. Yeah, but yeah. then from there I've taken it to high seas and have started here kind of at the base level at hydraulics and just grown with the company uh, in the past three years. That's fantastic. So what are we going to be doing here today? Today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to crimp a fitting on a high pressure hose. This is uh, what we do. It's used with this machine to make a mechanical crimp, which is a squeeze of this fitting onto this hose to crimp it down and make a mechanical lock so this hose does not blow this fitting off and create a mess in your bilge. So it stays tight on there so regardless of the pressure. Regardless of the pressure. This hose is recommended for 5100 PSI. So you can imagine how much pressure is behind this fitting. Is there anything else I need to know going into this? Yeah, just read this book over for the next few minutes. Few minutes? Wow. Okay, I'll get started. We marked the hose to where the fitting needed to reach. I even had to bang it on the table to make sure it was exactly in place. The machine then locked the fitting to the hose. The final step was to clean the hose of any debris. To do this, I use a special device that uses a lot of force to shoot the cleaning pad through. Any debris left in the hose could cause equipment failure or restrictions leading to other issues. As you can see, the hose definitely needed to be cleaned. I finished my job by installing the freshly cleaned hose to the system on the boat. So this is our label instructing the crew to remove and inspect the condition of the zinc every 60 days and replace as necessary. This is the heat exchanger plug here and this is the end cap that allowed us to see inside the corrosion erosion issue inside the heat exchanger. With the new heat exchanger in place, I ended by attaching the filter that will catch any debris getting into the system when it is running. A high five for another job well done. <laughs> 